Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect Warden Mode. In the previous episode, we finished the cells on the left. In fact, we, we pretty much say that we finished the entire facility on the left-hand side. So that would be everything in here. So we've got these two cell blocks, which are quite simply just more of the same, which has brought our total prisoner capacity up to about 147, not entirely the case, depending on how you read it, because we've got some death row stuff and we've got some we've got some uh, people in here. Why is he throwing up all over the place? Why is the sick everywhere? Um, I have no idea. That's very strange. Anyway, yeah, so... We've got that in there, we've got the death row, and generally, okay around this this part, so that's good. So, where do we need to go? Where are we going to go? That's going to be on the right-hand side. This is where we're going to have some a small shakedown for a start, because I haven't finished a shakedown yet. Um, I want to have this entire area as a area for low risk. So, first thing first, we need to shift uh, things like the exports and the deliveries and such. So, I'm going to have the exports close to the center, and we'll probably put it below, but the other two will be above. Means, though, that the trucks will probably start backing up, but uh, there's nothing much we can really do about that. I really don't want them to have to go through two stages, like, because there'll, no, there'll be a couple of doors, so I don't want them to do that. So, we'll go for Dell, and we'll go for deliveries, and exports will get real for now. So, deliveries will move up to well, actually, let's put the road gates in first and we know roughly what we're talking about here. So it'll be road gate. Hang on. Road gate. And we could put them there, but I think a bit of a gap would be nice. So a gap of one. Is that correct? Gap of one. There we go. So that's where the road gate is going to go. We will put above that our deliveries. Once the gate's in. There's the road gate. Put our deliveries in about there. 4 by 8 Garbage. We'll put there because then they, at least they pick it up. And then move off. And then the exports. Not that most of this matters, you understand. Um, is that a gap of one? It is a gap of one. Like that. Okay. So that's all I put in. So, what we'll do, fence, from here, up, and across. And then, do we want to have the same on this side? Probably do. question is, do you want to split it off like that to have it symmetrical or not? Don't really need to, not, but we can't really do anything with the other side anyway. So what I'll do, I'll go down to here. I'll just roughly put in the edge. We know we know it's going to be going around here, and obviously we then have to work out where we're going to have the internal one, the perimeter wall, because we always have... Well, it's not, it's not going to be a perimeter wall, but it is a wall on the perimeter. Um, but we'll have it so that this is the main fence and then we'll have one that goes in between because obviously we have to have like something like that but then we're gonna have to sort a lot of this out now already you can see the problem and that's that we don't have these opening up so i'm going to go over to the prison bureaucracy and go for remote access and start opening up a lot of this here because quite frankly it's going to be a nightmare if we don't do if we don't do that we can't have this as staff only because of the way we've laid this out so what we'll have to do is have a fence there a fence there and then a fence come along there and then what we can do is have a, a road gate in like so now that is a little bit cheeky because of the way the road gates work in the game doing that means that we can oh my look at that people having to go all the way around that way or rather they are going that way because it's it's actually quicker um yeah doing this means that when you put it right on the edge, the truck spawns. And the truck spawns right near this, so it doesn't. It, it, it goes. It clips through it, which is, like I say, a bit cheeky there. Um, we're unlocking the remote access so we can get this sorted first and foremost, because we really, really do need to do that. And then we'll go ahead and sort out the uh, sort out the uh, security. Just going to check prison grading. We can see we've got fourteen percent. Um, 
reoffending rate, which is 108 prisoners released. That's a big turnover for such a small prison. Punishment is quite high, reform is middling, security is high, and health has improved. So overall, net profit and all of that. Prison value, nearly half a mil. That's good. Daily profit of seven grand. Staff fatality is two. Capacity 147. Deaths in custody six. No prisoners escaped. Three percent have sorry. 64 prisoners have been paroled early with three percent reoffending rate, and then no executed uh, prisoners. And but while well, we do have, however, Warren Brown on the uh, on the list there, and they can be executed. So we'll go ahead and um, sort that out in a moment. So I'm going to go down into this security room. We do want to have. Oh, it'll actually be in utilities here. We want to have a remote access door control system. Um, door control system can go. Oh, this is a bit of a problem because it's not really big enough. I'm going to have to put it there it should be all right i'm just a bit worried about the grid the grid is really running hot might blow the grid up here but we'll see how it goes it also might not be able to be staffed because of where it is let's have a quick look if it goes kajunk and then all lights go off we know that this is overdoing it Nope, okay, it didn't make a kajunk and everything go off and also it can be staffed excellent so we're going to go to the Utilities. Door servo. We're going to put a door servo on that door there. That door there. And you guessed it, that one and the one on the bottom. Now, I'm not going to put a door servo on these doors just yet because I still don't know where the prisoners are coming and going. We'll have to sort that out. But I am going to put a fence across there and across there. And we'll have a double door there. Now, here's the problem. I'm going to have to connect these up, these door servos, because they are... Oh, that's a question. Will running them there do? Actually, that says it's now powered up, which is strange. Not going to argue. Not going to argue. Okay, connections. We will go over to the door servo, like that. Oh, sorry, the door control system. And then starting from the bottom, while holding shift, we're going to add the door. So one, two, three, and then four. And you can see that that is really close. <laughs> really close. If someone flips all the lights on at once, it will probably blow this thing up. So, deployment, staff only. Set that as staff only, which is good. And then we'll set that as staff only, which is also quite good. We'll have this as a shared area, this as a shared area, and now people can go between the two. For now. Actually, no, let's go for staff only there so they can't get past because I don't want prisoners streaming into here. That still says it's not powered up, but it was earlier. What's going on? And do, am I going to have to power these up? That one says it doesn't require power. And now it's not saying it's... Oh, no, it is saying it's... Oh, not out of power. Hang on. Is it flashing underneath the fence? It is. Look at that. The thing's actually underneath the fence. Never seen that before. Right, this might actually blow the grid up then. We might we might be overdoing it here. There's not much I can do about it actually because of the way it's set. Because of where we've got this. We might have to remove some things off the grid and change it about. That's done. It shouldn't take much power to do it. Prioritise that. Electrical cable, it's just not, they're not, they're not doing it. Why are they not doing it? Ah, oh, they cannot. They have a pathfinding problem. First one in a long time, that, pathfinding. So, place that there again, see if they come a different way. Just let that truck out. Can they get to that corner? I don't think they can. They cannot. What's happened is they're trying to get to there, but they can't. And they can't go around this way because they're not programmed to go on the far edge, I believe. So in that case, I'm going to have to run it up and in like that. Not that it's a big problem. There you go. Not oh, just do one bit and walk off, yeah. <laughs> can't be bothered this uh And there we go. So that's now automatic access, all of that. Whoa, we've got 100 grand. Wow. Do we own all, all of our prison still? Yep, we do. I know I did sell a little bit, but yeah, there you go. Right, so I was going to plan this right-hand side, but for now, I think we're going to test the electrical grid in another way. 
so death row always always um a mixed bag when we do this but it is in the game it's what it's well it's what it what is what it is i guess so schedule execution the state approved conviction strength is 10% which means you can always schedule execution however if you execute someone and they are then deemed as not guilty you then get a huge fine in fact it might even be a failure state if you do it too often either way schedule execution so um actually no we'll not we'll not we'll do it tonight when we can lock the facility down without it being problematic in the day so we'll do that so on the right hand side let us go ahead and sort out sort out the walkways around here well we know for a fact that it's going to be this All the way around. There's a tree. We don't need to sort that out. Um, quite honestly, I think I'm just going to go down to there. Like that. And we're just going to remove those walls. And that'll be the access. That'll be the access. I think that's okay. I think that's fine. That's alright. Obviously, the deployment, this left we set staff only once we've got this fence in. Then we'll have patrols around and such, so it should be okay. 24 prisoners are up for parole, apparently, and we've only got four parole sessions. So we are having a problem there. We haven't got enough parole. I would love to sort that problem out, but quite frankly, there's nowhere to put it. The only thing I could do is, like, remove something from around here. Like, sh shrink the common room, but that'd be too small. No, th there's just nowhere to shift it. The only possible thing we could do is have... Oh, no, you can't do that either. I was going to say, have it so the... Have it so the parole around here is accessed by both, but I think it needs to be death row in order to do that, so... Yeah. Okay, so, night time. Everybody's in bed, so... Warren Brown. Schedule execution. Execution initiated. That's completed. We're going to initiate a prison-wide lockdown now done. Test the facility. So we'll press that and what happens is we'll run a test on the grid. Make sure it can handle it. As you can see, the grid here is not too bad, but we might have to get put some more capacitors in there. That is comp completed. We're going to assemble the execution detail and escort witness to the facility. We're just going to max speed this up because, quite frankly, we can't see them. What will happen is the chief will come in, as well as the, as well as the, actually the speed doesn't matter. No, it doesn't speed up that much at all. Yeah, the chief will come along, Let's see if I can find them. Not seeing them. We'll get the, uh, whatever member of the church or whatever the whatever religious body they tea to they they'll come along and then you have to escort the witnesses which will be well whoever the whoever the uh, whoever they would be cuz brown is being really there we go uh so it's he's got an ex-wife two, two daughters mother and father he's in here for murder torture armed robbery grievous body harm rape and aggravated assault and then he's served some stuff other things there's the witnesses there so it's it's uh, the victim's family of brown so still waiting for the execution detail strange actually because Ah, is that me? That's counting me, isn't it? Because I have to be here. It is! Ah, right! That's fairly clever. Uh, yeah, when you assemble the detail, it has to be... The, the warden has to turn up, and I'm thinking, why is it going up and down when I move? And then, yeah, it's because I have to be there. So they're going to follow the warden. So I'm literally leading them in. This is a bit... Uh, 
different from before. Hmm. We've been all hands off previously. Like, we haven't been doing any of this, like, personally, if you know what I mean. Like, we're going around and such. But now, actually, leading him in. Yeah, it hits, uh, hits a little bit harder. So. Brown. Warren Brown, age 41. Prison number 7381767. Execution underway. Authorize. Go. And that's it. There we are. Dismiss staff and witnesses. And that's it. Hmm. It is a bit more... Uh, don't know. It's a bit... It's different when you're... Uh, <laughs> Playing it in ward mode, that's for sure. So, the mandate execution of Warren Brown was carried out at 6.11 as scheduled with electric chair. The presence of witnesses is a standard compensation of $10,000 slash the of currency as awarded to the institution part, part of the process. Didn't say they were then lit, found non, not guilty or anything like that. So, there we go. That has happened. So, they'll be taken out of the facility and all that sort of stuff. So, we will go to the right-hand side and continue with our work. So, uh, as you can see, it's a little bit more chaotic around here because of the way we've got things set up. But not too much of a problem. We're just going to check on intelligence and informants. They do have a trip, but not one that we uh, can see. In terms of supply and demand, there's a lot of luxuries, a lot of tools. We know that we knew this was going to be the case anyway, just because of the amount of stuff being flung in. Uh, we're just going to change this uh, side to staff only. You can see now, if I get the top, I get to the bottom, and that's because these are now technically connected by this walkway all the way around the right-hand side. So... This bit on the right, we are going to set as Minsec only. Only Minsec prisoners can come in here. And we're also going to dismantle that tree. So, how do we want this done? Well, we definitely want a couple of workshops. So let's just go to planning, and then we'll go to pathways, and we'll have a pathway going up the centre here. Then I think on either side, we're going to have the workshops. So when it, it doesn't take long to take... There's not far to go for taking the stuff and then elsewhere. So we'll have... A workshop in these areas now. I'm just going to check see how have I done it along here. Have I just put a straight... Yeah, it's just the straight walls, okay? So there's not much of a gap. So the workshop, there was a, like a, a maximum size for it, but I really can't remember what that is. Also, I'll probably make this part of it as well, so we'll save up on space. So, uh, or do I make a gap of one round there? Maybe a gap of one round there, that's fine. So walls will go around here. We'll have it as a 12 by 20, I think. I think that was the ideal size. Uh, 12 by 20 was generally decent. And then you can have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, and then you can have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, then you can have the rows there. That doesn't seem big enough to me, actually. So we're going to we're gonna forego the 12 by 20. And instead, we're going to have it as 22 by 14. Because we're also going to have carpentry, you see. So 22 by 14, bit bigger there. Just double check that. That is 22. That's 22 as well. So that's going to be our workshop there. So we also need, or rather we may have to have a canteen here, I think. I think we will. Next to it will be the dormitories. Dormitories are not going to be terribly large, but there is a, there is a minimum size you need, and I really can't remember what that is. So, we're going to go with a 12 by 22 so same sort of size as we've had on this other one. In fact, what we'll do is we'll make a bit of a gap there, for reasons that I will explain in a but a moment. We're going to just cancel that bit off, put that there, put that over there. That should be the dormitories. Might be oversized, might be undersized, really can't remember. And then back here, we will have a, we will have a big block. And we're going to set this as a couple of things. Firstly, we're going to have a kitchen and a canteen around here. And then we'll probably have a common room. But remember, we're still not we're still not saying that other prisoners can't go to the left. Uh, it's got sleep time, so we'll do another shakedown. We're still not saying these prisoners can't go to the left. We're just saying that, um, well, they're not at the moment. So, this is going to have a... All this at the back here is going to be forestry. This entire section around here. So we'll have a pathway going round, and we'll have forestry. If I if I shift this to the left and put it along there, it's probably going to be better. I'm, I'm, yeah, I think. 
that is actually a better decision. Simply because it saves us so much space. I mean, it's not as if we haven't got the space. Someone's ordaining it, and I don't think anyone's taken them anywhere. I'm assuming they have. It's always a bad assumption. I assume the person that's overdosing is getting taken care of. <laughs> not a very good warden. Always messing it up. Well, everybody, everybody has to have a skill, don't they? Okay, so that's going to be our... Yeah, see, we're getting a fairly... Fairly decent increase there. And then we'll have the pathways which will come along here. And these will lead to the... Either side... Um, forestry areas. We're going to have to stop that shakedown. And quite frankly, I'm really... Starting to wonder what's happening over here. They are ODing. And nobody's actually taking care of them at all. What's happening here? No, nope, no, nope, it's just it's just the game glitching out because it can. Okay, nice one. So in the next 23 hours, we're going to have a death row inmate turn up, as you can see on the left-hand side. It's going to get that. We don't have any at the moment. And generally, there's not a lot of intake. Uh, Fearless and what was there? Stoker, that's fine. Don't even worry about that. Right, so... We've set this up. There's your quick plan in there. There's your pathways. Uh, there's your big room at the back here. So we'll have an entrance in this side. And what we'll do is we'll have we'll have it set up so that's walled off. We'll have entrance there. Then probably entrance there to the kitchen. That's going to be your tables. So that's going to be your serving tables. Although... Really not ideal. Serving tables like that because there are five. Of an entrance there, you see. Somewhat like that anyway. Then you got your kitchen. Don't really need to worry too much about the size. Call it size seven. Yeah, size seven, eight. Doesn't really matter. Then we've got an area down the bottom for something. And that is probably about the right size for the canteen. Could always shift this down if need be. But this is probably going to be a common room. And that'll do us. So, that's the plan. That is the plan. We're going to leave it there. Next episode, we'll go ahead, start getting uh, these areas put in. My plan is to get the... Plan is to get the dormitories put in probably first. The, the issue we might have is that this workshop here, we might have an issue where the lower-grade prisoners do not want to work in the workshop. And if that is the case, what we'll have to do is have this as access to everybody. But this certainly will be for the low-risk prisoners. This is going to be low-risk. This is all going to be low-risk. So if anyone comes in here, the only reason they come here is because they would need access to the workshop. But we'll play that by you and see how it goes. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.